Hey, thanks for clicking on my video. Seb Heslow here. And which one should you actually buy for mining? The 3070 LHR or the 3070 Ti? Which of course is also LHR because all 3070 Ti's are LHR. But which one is best for mining? Well, that is what I'm gonna try to answer in this video because right now, current price climate, they are both pretty much the same price. And there's mainly two questions that I wanna be answering today, which is, First of all, are they both hash rate limited on the same coins? Because there has been some conflicting information about maybe the TI models aren't as hash rate limited on, for example, Ergo. So I want to once and for all establish if they are limited on the same coins or not. And then I also want to take a look at just mining profitability overall and compare the two. So that's what we'll do in this video. Okay, so these are the two GPUs that we're going to be comparing today. I got a 3070 MSI Supreme X LHR and a Asus ROG Strix 3070 Ti. Alright, so we're here on the computer now and if you watched my two-part series on like 3070 LHR versus non-LHR, uh, where I tried to establish just exactly what coins are affected by LHR and which ones aren't. Um, you might remember that, of course, Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and Ubic were, you know, affected by LHR, as well as Vertcoin and Ergo, it seemed like. So what I'm going to do first in this video here is I'm going to compare uh, those algorithms between the 3070 and the 3070 Ti to see if the 3070 Ti is affected on all those algorithms as well. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to put the 3070 LHR and the 3070 Ti against each other in terms of hash rate and efficiency for a few of the more profitable coins right now like Ravencoin and maybe we'll throw in another one too for a good measure. So that's what's coming up. So let's start with Ethereum. And for Ethereum, I'm going to be using NB Miner because NB Miner has that sort of partial LHR unlock, which by the way, I have a video on if you want to go watch that. Um, but basically, it allows you to get almost like 70% of the sort of potential full hash rate for those cards. So let me fire up NB Miner and let's see what the best sort of hash rate and like power consumption efficiency numbers we can get. Okay, so I've been messing with the overclock settings a bit here uh, for a while and I think I've found the sort of best um, like hash rate to watt ratio here. So for the 3070 Ti we're getting around 54 mega hash. It's dancing around a little bit but it's, it's steady around 54 mega hash or so at a power of 187 watts and for our 3070 LHR model we're getting around 43 mega hash um, it's also dancing around a little bit and that's at 128 watts so as you can see out here on the efficiency uh, numbers the 3070 is definitely more efficient however the 3070 Ti of course pulls about 12 mega hash more and if you're wondering because you can see my msi afterburner settings here and if you're wondering like how i got the power so low uh, with my power limit at 100 percent well this is actually going to be a little extra tutorial for you guys that are paying attention you can actually lock the core clock within msi afterburner and the way you do that is you click this little button here next to core clock and it brings up this curve editor and then you just find the like frequency here in megahertz and then you just click wherever you want to lock it and just hit l on your keyboard and it will lock the core frequency um, at that megahertz so that is how you do locked core clock in msi afterburner pretty cool right so yeah those those are our final numbers for ethereum of course both cards are heavily limited on ethereum getting around half of what they could have except for with nb minor we're unlocking some of that potential and so that's why we're getting these numbers here so those are our final numbers for ethereum now 
I'm not gonna do the same thing for Ethereum Classic and Jubic because we will get the exact same numbers. I can guarantee that. So basically those coins use the exact same algorithm. So we'll get the same hash rates and like power efficiencies there. So let's move on to the next coin instead. Okay, so our next coin is Ravencoin. Now Ravencoin is not affected by LHR whatsoever on either of these cards. And you can see my hash rates here. We're getting just below 40 mega hash on the 3070 Ti and just above 30 mega hash on the 3070 LHR. And we're pulling 238 watts on the Ti and 153 watts on the regular. So again, I mean, it's kind of the same story as on Ethereum, isn't it? The TI gets a higher hash rate, but the, you know, the regular 3070 is more efficient. Those are the numbers. And since I know some of you guys are going to ask about the overclock settings, even though you shouldn't just copy somebody else's overclock settings, you should find your own. But here they are. These are my settings for the 3070 Ti and here are the settings for the 3070. All right, let's move on to Ergo, shall we? All right, so we are up and running on Ergo and guys, well, first of all, let me say, I don't think the 3070 Ti is limited on Ergo because it behaved super normally to the overclock settings and I was able to use like locked core clock in MSI Afterburner, no problem. And I'm, yeah, I, I'll, I'll get back to the numbers, but for the 3070 LHR version, it's the exact same story as it was when I compared it to the 3070, like non LHR. Uh, I, I just simply cannot get it over 100 mega hash, no matter what I do. I've been tweaking every possible setting, every possible way in MSI Afterburner, and it just, it just won't go over 100 mega hash. So these are sort of the most efficient settings I could get for it at least, which was 98.5 mega hash at 137 watts. No, sorry, 153 watts. And for the 3070 Ti, uh, we're getting 174 around there mega hash a second at 148 watts. So basically, this goes against what we saw on the previous two coins because not only is the 3070 Ti um, more powerful in that it's getting a higher hash rate, but it is also like almost twice as efficient at that hash rate. So yeah, there you have it. And by the way, the overclock settings I had for the 3070 Ti is just plus 900 on the memory clock. And then I just um, locked my core clock at around 1600 megahertz and as for the 3070 LHR uh, yeah I mean you can see the numbers on the screen here all right now let's move on to the next coin which is vertcoin all right so we are up and mining vertcoin and it's just like with ethereum vertcoin definitely seems to be limited on both GPUs here so I, I actually got three GPUs running I'm sorry it's not very clear in this miner what's going on but I got CUDA device number two, which is a regular like non LHR 3070, like a full hash rate 3070. And as you can see, that's getting around like 1,281 kilohashes per second. And our CUDA device number zero, which is our 3070 Ti, is only getting around 609 kilohashes per second. So. That's why I say it's definitely like limited on Vertcoin on the 3070 Ti because that should at least get the same hash rate as a full hash rate 3070 if not even more, right? It's a more powerful GPU. And so yeah, we're getting around 609 kilohash a second at 112 watts on the 3070 Ti and we're getting 479 kilohash a second on the 3070 LHR at only 89 watts though so that's interesting but yeah let's um let's try beam all right so we're up and mining beam and i've been tweaking the overclock settings for a while here and i think i've found some good sort of 
middle ground between high hash rate and efficiency because Beam really seems to be one of those algorithms where you just pump more power into it to get higher hash rate. But I think I got a pretty good spot for efficiency here. So we're getting 40.8 uh, on in terms of hash rate on the 3070Ti. And that gives us an efficiency of about 0.22 per watt. And then we got the 3070 LHR, which we're getting 36 and a half in terms of hash rate, right? I don't, I don't think it's mega hash on, uh, on beam. I think it's like hashes per second or something, or grafts per second. Uh, I'm not sure actually, but that gives us a better efficiency again at 0.26 per watt, right? So again. <laughs> It's like the 3070Ti has better hash rate, but the 3070 has better efficiency. Oh, and by the way, the overclock settings for Beam, before I forget. Uh, here you go, these are the settings for the 3070Ti, and these are the settings for the 3070. Alright, so, you know what? I'm gonna take all of these numbers that we found here today, and I'm gonna put them into what to mine, and let's have a look at profitability for these two coins. All right, so I've entered all of the numbers into what to mine here, so let's have a look, shall we? So we got our 3070 LHR to your left, and we got the 3070 Ti uh, on your right here. So as we can see for both GPUs, Ravencoin is still the most profitable currently, um, with it making $3.72 a day uh, after electricity cost on the 3070 LHR. But on the 3070Ti, it's actually making $4.79 per day after electricity cost. So basically, the 3070Ti is the more profitable GPU currently. And that's especially obvious if we take a look at the next coin in the list, which for the 3070Ti is actually Ergo at $4.47. But since like ergo seemed to have been locked on the um, 3070 LHR ergo only brings in like almost half that at $2.38 on the LHR 3070 and for our second most profitable on the 3070 LHR it's actually ethereum uh, still even though it's limited at $3.36 but Ethereum still brings in more uh, on a 3070 Ti at $4.10 per day after electricity cost. And actually, even Beam is more profitable on a 3070 LHR than Ergo is, because Beam makes $3.16 a day after electricity cost, while for on the 3070 Ti, Beam comes in fourth place at three dollars and 48 cents per day and finally we have vert coin which makes a measly one dollar and ten cents on the 3070 lhr and one dollar and 40 cents on the 3070 ti all right i hope this video helped clear things up for you a little bit and if this was helpful to you then please give the video one of these i'd really appreciate it and what you gotta do now is you gotta click on one of those videos on the screen because this video is over you can also click the picture on my face to subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. But yeah, go click on that next video and I'll see you there. Goodbye. Bye-bye.